Hello! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. We are back again for another review. This is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Season 13, Episode 20, and this is Reunion Part 3, Uncensored and Extended. And, child, we did not need a third part. I'm just going to say it right now. We did not need a third part. And, Kyle, this needs to be your last season. I think you need to take a pause and figure out what you got going on, your inner workings and your inner affairs, and then come back when you're actually willing to share your life and what's going on with your life. And because, yeah, this was a very unnecessary reunion, and I kind of had a feeling it was going to be that to the point where I just kind of, I did not go to look at this right away because I just figured Kyle's going to do what Kyle does best, and that's deflect deflect and dance around answering answering questions we are at the exact same spot we were when we left when we were at reunion part one part two the season finale when comes her storyline we're literally at the same spot we did not need this we could have threw this in the garbage because that's what it was it was giving garbage and i'm just i i knew that's what it was going to be i i knew in my heart of hearts that's what it was going to be so i'm not too disappointed but not to do the comparison, but I'm going to do the comparison. Real Housewives of Miami was everything I needed it to be and more. And yet, we're giving all of this shine to Beverly Hills. By where, I'm not talking about the viewers. I'm talking about, like, the, the network. Y'all going to need to reverse that. Because the ladies of Miami are working like they actually have a job. And this part three, yes, there were some dramatics there, but it was given snooze fest. And Kathy, although the moment was touching with her being on stage, y'all could have put that in part two. Because between all three parts, all this could have been put into two parts. And we could have been done with the season instead of um, almost 15 minutes of my time wasted. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. Um, but without further ado, you you can tell I have a lot to say. Let's get into it. So I kind of mentioned Kathy being there. And Quise is Kathy. If Kathy wasn't there, this reunion would have been a complete dub. Like for this, for this part. She saved the reunion. Because they had nothing else to talk about besides Kathy and then Kyle and Mauricio. And because... Kyle refuses to answer any questions directly or even answer questions at all. There's, there was no point. There really was. Um, so anyway, the reunion um, continues where um, Sun states to Kyle that she's been mean to her the whole entire season. And Sun, um, you know, in the words of Denise said, watch the show. And so with that, Kyle continues to do what she does best, which is deflect and take no accountability. And um, Kyle, and this is what bothers me about Sun. As much as I love Sun, she wavered. She totally wavered. And so because Andy, I could tell, could tell that they weren't going to be going anywhere with this. Um, he's like, so where do, where do we go from here when it comes to you and Kyle's friendship? Um, you know, Sutton. And Sutton's like, you know, I actually do miss having a friendship with you. I miss seeing you and I, I miss this. And um, Kyle's like, me too. I do miss this. It, it sucks that we're not getting along. Because the other thing that came up was, so Kyle claimed that she forgave Sutton during, while they're, you know, in, um, were they in? While they're in Spain, I, I I, I paused. I was like, where, 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 where were they? While they were in Spain and um, during the um, the whole thing with um, being in the church. And so I was like, well, was that a lie? And, um, you know, she's like, no, it wasn't. And But she still, but then Kyle keeps continuing to bring up, bring up for her rebuttal, she still continues to bring up what happened prior to that apology. So it's like, girl, you did not forgive her because you keep bringing up the same thing over and over again. 
So they do stare at each other. They they do end up hugging it out at the end. And I, I feel like this was all for nothing. <laughs> and side note. So I know it was pretty harsh at the beginning. I am also wondering, and I didn't think about it until after I said it. I'm wondering because Sun and Garcelle left. Yeah, spoiler alert, they left on the reunion um, before things wrapped. I'm wondering if that's why they just had to abruptly kind of stay with Kyle and whatnot. But, I mean, they had plenty of time to use editing and all that, and they still could just made this part, too. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. So, now they're waiting for Kathy to get mic'd up and arrive. Kathy does finally show up, and um, this is basically, this whole entire segment is about Kathy and Kyle and how the others are as far as like having a friendship with Kathy along with having a friendship with Kyle and um so they go into that like during this segment because you know they're saying that basically a lot of ladies might be scared of Kathy because of how much power she exudes when it comes to Beverly Hills and um Kyle also is alluding to it, too. They want to be friends with Kathy. Everyone wants to be friends with Kathy. And honestly, Kyle, per usual, kind of sounds like a jealous sister. It It's giving, you know, as much as she wants to be independent on her own, she just always seems like she just has, you know how some people just have a jealous spirit on them? I feel like, Kath, I feel like Kyle has a jealous spirit because she's just never been the well-known sister. Like, ever. This show is the first time she's ever been kind of the well-known sister. Now Kathy's on this show, too. And also Kim was on this show as well at some point in time. So although you're seeing that things have been resolved and all things are good, and they're even trying to put that out there that things are good, like during this whole entire reunion, you can tell things still aren't good. You can tell it's just kind of a sham. And... But anyway, so as they're going back and forth into this, one of the things that was mentioned um, during this segment was, you know, Erica not caring about the status of Kathy and not really trying to kiss, not really kissing her butt. Because what's being alluded is that all the other ladies kind of kiss Kathy's butt because of who she is. And in the middle of um, Erica speaking about this and kind of like clarifying Oh, also, while all this, while they're watching this segment, um, you know, watching the playback from the season before and this past season, Kathy and her side comments, interesting. And also, she starts laughing when Erica said what she said about that. But she's laughing to the point where she's crying. So I don't know how to read that. I'm just kind of like... I was confused. But anyway, so, but why, while, while um, Erica is basically stating what she's saying, because this is after the clip, and, and Andy's like, so Erica, can you elaborate on what you're saying here? And Erica's like, yeah, like, I feel like some of the ladies here, some of the ladies are, are afraid of Kathy. And she's, and then, um, you know, Andy says, which one here, which one of all the ladies is, you think is the most terrified of Kathy? And as this happens, and I kid you not, it was literally like clockwork. Sudden, abruptly just kind of like does this. And then just starts shaking and just is like not good. Yeah. So this, this sudden thing happened like right within, I would say the first, not even 20 minutes of the reunion. It wasn't even a full 20 minutes. I would say it wasn't even a good 10 minutes of the reunion. So then Sutton is shaking. They couldn't get her to stop shaking. Um, I guess this was um, Anne Marie's moment, which really wasn't her moment because she didn't really do anything or add much to this. Which, side note, she did not add to the show at all. I'm hoping next season she's not back. I'm sorry, not sorry. She she didn't need to be here. She was probably... It's sad when Kathy has more of a storyline and whatnot than the person was actually on the show during the season. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate that one out order there, but let me get back to it. So Sun's literally shaking. 
And now she's shaking and um, freaking out because everyone's freaking out because no one knows what's happening. Minus Erica and Kathy. Erica and Kathy. So Erica, I know where is like, so how are you, Kathy? She's like, oh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. What's going on with Sutton? And like, she's like, why can't she just stand up? She's like, oh, well, she has neuropathy. And then Kathy's like, what is that? And um, Erica's like, you know, it's like pins and you know, she's like, oh, that's like neurologic, like neurologic and stuff. She's like, yeah, yeah, it is. And she's like, oh, wow, this is crazy. And then Kathy did joke saying, she didn't want me to expose her, I guess. <laughs> that part was, I did get a little bit of a chuckle because I knew Sun was okay because, I mean, fast forward, she's fine. But... That's kind of scary to be joking like that at the moment. Um, so basically, they did end up having to stop the reunion. The reunion stopped abruptly. So this was probably took up a lot of the reunion. And they had to get um, Sun out of her shoes and put her into, like, you know, her slippers so that she won't slip and fall. And Garcelle and then on the medical team, medical staff walked them back to her trailer to lay down and try to get herself back together because her blood pressure was through the roof. Her pulse was like extremely high. I'm kind of wondering, does she have a mini stroke? It seemed like she actually had a mini stroke, which is kind of scary. And it did hijack the reunion. So I'm almost wondering, would... More of the trip to Spain been talked about. This wouldn't have happened. Clearly, Merce was there. So, I think the Merce segment was going to happen. Oh. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Merce was there. And you're probably wondering, how was Merce there? I thought Merce was, like, in the sea. Or, yeah, in the sea. I'll get to that. Anyway. But I guess I just thought... I'm wondering if more would have been talked about, more would have been discussed, and it not be so Kyle heavy. But I feel like I don't know. I guess I don't know the answer to that. Um, because I guess I'm not sure if the reunion is like filmed in sequence or not. So anyway, Sutton does end up going back to her trailer. Garcelle goes with her. And... Some ladies, I think it was Erica that made the comment. They think that literally Sun went out of conscience like like a second and then came back too. And it did look like that because she looked like she kind of glitched and came back. Because when she did that, she glitched. It, it, did, it definitely looked like that. Honestly, that was scary. And it, it was super scary to see that because no one wants to see that on TV. But clearly, I don't think they would have even aired it if she wasn't okay. I don't think they would have aired it or anything like that. But um, anyway, moving on. So after the chaos um, kind of subsides and the ladies kind of get their faculties back together, because literally everyone's freaked out, um, the reunion does resume and Erica continues her thoughts because, you know, Andy re-asks the question. And Crystal does agree with her and thinks, yeah, there probably is some people here who are, you know, afraid of um Kathy and her power. And Kathy just laughs off saying, oh, this is ridiculous. And it's just kind of like, is it just me or does Kathy give Mommy Dearest vibes? Anyway, so then um, they do talk briefly about Lisa, Lisa Renna. The ghosts of Lisa Renna and Kathy. Because, again, this season didn't have enough to give. So we're going back to the season before for this reunion. And apparently, um, Kathy and Lisa have made up. So they're good now. Um, Lisa did give an olive branch to Kathy. She didn't really discuss what was all said within the olive branch. But she's like, we're good now. Um, and then Lisa and Kyle, they're okay now. But they're not great. Um, the fallout definitely fell out, uh, cause Kyle basically alluded to like, yeah, we're cordial, but like, I ain't got nothing really to say to her. Like they basically say hi to each other when they see each other and that's about it. Um, 
And then they finally get to the subject a little bit more of Kathy and Kyle and how they have been, um, they kind of talk about that a little bit, uh, where they're at, they're doing better, clearly, because Kathy's there literally for um, Kyle's support. Um, and honestly, I think that was a very strategic on Kyle's part. If Sutton and Garcelle would have still been there, I think that's why they had her there. That way, when they did talk about Kyle's marriage, no one was going to be there to question it. I literally think that's what it was there. It seems pretty obvious to me, but that's one other subject. So, And then they do talk a little bit to Kathy about how Kathy and the divide with the agency and what that caused. And Kathy did talk about it a little bit. Um, and she did explain what happened. So for those who don't know, before Mauricio branched out to doing his own thing, he worked with the Hiltons and basically helped build their empire um, that the Hiltons have. And when Mauricio decided to go on his own, um, and create his agency, he poached a lot of their people. And that's where the divide started. Because that was one of the main things that was mentioned, like, hey, do not poach any of our people, you know, because apparently Mauricio um, came in Thursday, quit the next day. But then the understanding was, do not take any of our people with you, which he did. And put them in a messed up position, you know, just basically business gone wrong. And um, Mo in his book said a lot of not so flattering things about the Hiltons. And it basically caused a divide of, amongst them because these are, this is like Kathy and Kyle's, like their husbands are beefing basically, but it's about business. And Kyle did deflect right away when um, Andy wanted more detail in her POV on this. She's like, I don't want to like rehash it. I don't want to talk about business. I don't want to talk about, I mean, I, I've been through enough. That's, that was um, Kyle's response to that, which was no response and no answers. Anyway, then they go back to Sutton um, in her trailer. She actually is not getting any better. She's actually getting worse. And so they decided to go to the hospital with her uh, because she's starting to like feel nauseous. Even after having some bananas and potassium and whatnot, her faculty still are not together, according to her. And so she's in the room getting herself together, getting things off of her because she needs they need to get undressed and go to the hospital. Um, you know, wear something more comfortable, clearly. And so um, while... They're doing that. Garcelle leaves the trailer. She's like, I'm going to go with her. Um, I'm actually scared. And, and Garcelle starts to break down, starts to cry a little bit, and gets teared up. She's like, I'm scared. You know, son's scared, and I'm scared for her, too. Like, she's just been going, 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 going. And the case of overworking, not taking care of yourself, um, I think. And we kind of saw that that was what was happening during the season, to a certain degree. Like, Sun has been all about getting her independence and getting her life together, but she hasn't been resting. She's just been going, going, going. And it's alluded that kind of caught up with her that night. So um, basically, Sun, um, Garcelle's like, okay, so I need, so I left my phone on the set. I left, um, Sun left her phone on the set. Can you get those things? So then um, Andy, while this is happening, receives a call from production and so they retrieve son's, um, son's phone, Garcelle's phone, and Merce's ashes. And then this is when, like, <laughs> Erica's like, wait, Merce is still in the purse? Merce is in the purse. She, he's still in the purse? What, what just happened? So they're all confused and because they thought they already, you know, his ashes were gone. But then, like, um... Crystal does clarify, say, no, she kept a little bit of Merce with her so she could still have him, like, on her. And, um, like, you know, like, with her. And 
So then back to um, the set, back to the back. Sun and Garcelle, they're ready to go. And Sun does state that she's scared and she doesn't want to die. She actually is actually kind of freaking out. She's keeping a, 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 a safe face. Um, she's saving face, like, you know, keeping her emotions in check. But she's like, yeah, like, I don't want to die. This is kind of crazy. Um, how many of y'all... I think, I think she really did have a problem. But we know Sun has... A, some medical problems just in general. What do you think the, what, what happened there? Do you think they'll explore next season? Because we never did find out what it was. What happened? Yeah. Okay, back at the reunion, um, the, it, it's asked how did Kathy and Kyle resolve their issues. And they basically explain that um, Whitney, who is um, Kim's daughter, had her wedding. So they they were doing all the wedding stuff, and that's how they kind of reconciled. Like, they did the wedding shower together, and Kathy starts to break down, and she's like, I miss having my sister. Like, it kind of broke me that we weren't good. And they also state that, and I don't know if I believe this or not, but apparently they got their stories together, and they're just like, okay, agree. This is what we're going to do. And according to both of them, they've only had like three massive fights ever. So this is like their third massive fight ever. And they also have stated like we're sisters. This is just going to be something that happens. Kind of minimizing how weird, how interesting of a family dynamic that the um, Richard sisters have. Yeah. So, which is honestly on brand because... Um, Kyle has alluded more than once throughout the show that she is someone who just sweeps things under the rug. And Kathy is the same way. I've, I've watched, I think, one season of Paris in, in Love or something like that. Paris does the same thing. It is like a trait of theirs that they love to just sweep things under the rug and act like nothing's there. Even though the rug is just piling up with dirt. So... But it's their relationship. They like it. I love it. Anyway. But I will say this, though. Watching them two be in a good place. It, I did get a little emotional. There were some, there were some little bit thug tears that came out. So I did see. I was happy to see that they're in a good place. I'm hoping that is genuine. It came off as genuine. Um, I, don't, I don't know Kathy to be an actress. So... We'll see with that, but then on to the next thing. So the rest of this, the rest of the reunion is basically about Kyle and Mo, and it's a whole entire mess. Like, honestly, this is where my frustration for the season and Kyle, I, I'm, I'm over it. Kyle, go sit down. It's time for you to take a pause now, too. And the reason why I say this is they went through the whole montage of Kyle and Mauricio. And they show the montage that they show in the season finale where they show them back in um, 2013. And then moving forward with them, you know, falling out. And, you know, the first question is what changed? And Kyle's still giving us a whole bunch of non-answers. A combination of unresolved issues that they swept under the rug. And a, a trust violation. And Kyle's crying and talks about the trust. And they talk about the trust part. Um, because Andy's like, so when you say the trust part, was it something that Mo did? She didn't answer it. She went, she, she danced around and talked about a whole bunch of other things, but never did address that question. And she's like, you know, Mo and the infidelity rumors, it causes a lot of insecurity. Not ever saying that he was unfaithful, just saying, like, whether it was true or not, the seed was planted. So the trust ends up being broken because the seed has already been planted and caused a lot of um, insecurities. Which, okay, I can agree with that, but that still gives us nothing. And then they kind of go, they elaborate more about the DM comment that Kyle mentioned um, during the show when they were talk when they were playing like um, that one of their card games they were playing. And 
Kyle actually states, she's like, what I used to do before Mo knew what DMs were, I would use this, I would take his phone and I would delete and block DMs from other women on a very regular basis. And a lot of women would pretend to be one to be part of the agency. Um, which, I mean, let's be real. Up until recent years, Mo, it, I found Mo very attractive until he made those not so cool comments about Garcelle's son and how Erica cussed him out and thought that was okay. Up until then, yeah, I can see how women be like, hey, what's up, Mo? I can see that. I can see it. Um, and then they talk about Mo, Mo and him doing Dancing with the Stars. And um, I think it was either Crystal, I think it was either Crystal or um, Erica stating this is where they could tell that, um, or maybe Kathy, but one of them basically said, this is where I could tell like y'all were not in a good place because I could never see Mo, I would never in my mind, picture Mo doing Dancing with the Stars. And Kyle states, yeah, because it wouldn't have happened if we were in a good place because I'm a, je I'm a jealous person. I don't know how I feel about all that. Anyway. So, then something came up about Mo doing some type of dance with his dance partner, Emma, from Dancing with the Stars and dedicating the dance to Kyle. And Kyle says she felt a way about it. Um, and then, you know, Erica tries to allow some grace. She's just like, you know, it's, it's Dancing with the Stars. Everything is suggestive. It's partner dancing. Like, that is how Dancing with the Stars goes. And... Um, Erica also says under her breath, like, I wouldn't have cared if my husband would go and dance with the stars. <laughs> but because Kyle has so much insecurities that she kind of stated, it makes sense that she would. But anyway, so then the other subject about Mo and him partying with other women. How does he feel about that? How does Kyle feel about that? Kyle says she finds it weird because, like, mind you, while all this is happening until I think actually recently it was announced that he finally moved out. But, like, they've been living in the same house together. Which I would find that kind of slightly disrespectful if y'all just still live in the same house and y'all doing your own thing. I feel like you should be able to do your own thing, but don't flaunt it and it needs to be sight unseen until, you know, you move out. Just out of respect uh, of the relationship. Because to me, it gives off you have no respect or didn't have respect for your relationship when you do all that, even though you guys are separated. But the fact is, y'all live in the same house. It's just, to me, it's a respect thing. But that's a whole other thing. Um, but yeah. So then, that's kind of what happens here. So, the next question, someone says, I just really wish Kyle would stop dancing around um, the question of what is causing you guys to split. And just answer the freaking question. And Kyle, quite bluntly, says, because it's none of your effing business. And this is where I was like, okay, time for you to take a time out from the show, Kyle. That is all I needed was for her to say something like that. She literally is doing the exact same thing that um, we were so upset with Robin doing from Real Housewives of Potomac. And for me, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you're going to critique one housewife from doing something like that, you just because they're the face of the show, you're not exempt. You're just not. And to me, when she said that, it kind of came off as a F you. And if that's what it is, then as a fan, F you and your story, you can, you can leave. You can leave. Beverly Hills will do fine without her. I'm sorry. They can find another face. I mean, you booted anyone else that could have potentially be your face by you having the Fox Force 5 and you having them do your bidding. I mean, to keep it real, this show would have been just fine if Vanderpump was the, um, the face of the show. The difference is, and they're, and they're two sides of the same coin. Don't get it twisted. They're the same person, 
But the difference is Vanderpump owns it. You know that's what she's doing. And she's better at kind of dancing around things than Kyle is. Like, to me, I if I'm going to be manipulated as an audience member watching a show, I don't need to be so obvious where I'm just like, oh, so you just think I'm dumb. With Vanderpump, you knew it was happening, but like, it took some critical thinking a little bit to figure out that's what was happening. Not a lot, but still a little bit more than Kyle. And honestly, Vanderpump's more entertaining. But not to bring her up, but she was brought up again during this reunion somehow, some way. Um, oh, I think Andy brought her up this time because they called, um, when they introduced Kathy, they, they called um, Kathy the Grand Dame of Beverly Hills, not, not, not LVP. I feel like that energy would have been different if Kathy and Kyle were not getting along. They're going to do anything and everything possible for Kathy to be happy. The network, that is. But that's just a whole other thing. Anyway, so... They talk about, and this is where I'm sorry, I hate to, I'm not even going to hold it. I'm not, not even going to hold you. I kind of, after this, just kind of tuned out from the rest of reunion because I didn't care. You basically told me to not care when you said, it's not your business. Like, okay, if it's not my business, then I don't need to watch any more of this because it's still about your, the rest of this segment's all about your marriage. So maybe I should just turn this off. But because I have a review to do, I'm going to continue to watch the show, you know. But just know that's what she said. Anyway. They go into the details about um, how one of the scenes about Mo kissing Kyle and Kyle's like, don't kiss me like that. And it, we, it, it's, it's the obvious. Yeah, Kyle didn't appreciate being kissed like that because they're not in a good place. And Mo is still, still trying to save face and pretending everything was all good. That's all that was. And um, then the subject about them still being in the same place and needing to move out and... Mo would be the one who moves out that happens and we fast forward. I think that is happening or did happen or something like that. I think. I don't know. Um, but Kathy does um, probably overshare and Kyle probably chewed her out after this reunion. Um, because as much as they try to say Kathy's mean, I don't believe that Kyle ain't got that in her. Y'all both have the same mom. But Kathy states that she noticed the difference um, of them for the past three years. It wasn't just recent. It's been it's been the difference. Kind of what, you know, Kathy said before, you know, as she was getting ready. And um, Kyle states, mm, the timing's not correct, but okay. Didn't provide additional information or anything else. And this is where I need to get on Andy. And this is what also bothers me, too. I feel like if Sutton and Garcelle would have been there during this segment, more questions would have been asked. Number one. Number two, I'm not sure how many of the questions would have been asked by Sutton. Probably none of them because Kathy was there. That literally probably threw out Kyle. That literally probably threw out any type of game plan that Garcelle and Sutton had as far as, you know, the entertainment of the show. And asking the questions that the people want to know. Um, and I feel like that was what Kyle did right there. I feel like that's everything that happened right there. And it's really irritating. And it doesn't make for a good show. It's trash. And really, again, this could be Kyle's last season. She needs to take a couple seasons off, get your life together, and you can come back as a single woman. That's fine. Whatever. Anyway. So, on to the next section. Okay, so the next they talk about Morgan and Kyle and their thoughts. Okay, are they together? Are they not? They ask about the music video. And apparently the music video happened before, way before they were, Mo and Kyle decided to split. And also too, the music video happened because um, Morgan, Wade, um, did that performance for the tribute 
for Lorraine. And that was like, so they basically just did an exchange. So that's the reason why um, she did the music video. And according to Kyle, she didn't know what the video treatment was before she agreed. And she's never kissed anyone on camera. The part of her not kissing anyone on camera, yes, that's definitely true. But her not knowing the video treatment, I don't believe that. Anyway, she's too strategic and too thoughtful. I don't believe that. Um, so then they finally asked the question, are y'all together? Are you and Marguerite together? And she didn't answer really. She, she said that they're not together. I don't believe it. I, I don't know what it is. Something's off there. Nothing's right. Something's completely off there. But honestly, I don't even care if they're together or not at this point. Because I don't care about Kyle anymore. She made, she made a point that I shouldn't care about her in her life. And therefore, now I don't. <laughs> as soon as you tell me it's not my effing business and you're speaking to us, the audience, like that, I, say less. I don't care anymore. You can, you can leave. Yeah. So anyway, um, they closed the reunion because <laughs> that's how lackluster this reunion was, child. And they go one by one. What did everyone take from the season? And Anne Marie, this is maybe the third time she talked this whole entire reunion. I mean, the whole reunion, not just part one, part two, part three. She really didn't even need to be, be there, side note. I already said it, but I'm going to keep saying it. She says she just wants health and happiness. Okay, generic answer. Okay, next. Kyle, not Kyle, but then Crystal's like, I, don't be afraid to speak up. Yes, Crystal, continue to speak up. Because Crystal was the only one that had any rebuttals or any additional questions, by the way, because half the other side of the couch was gone. Because technically, Anne Marie moved to the other side of the couch, but she only moved to the other side of the couch because Kathy sat was sitting on that side. They really should have just ended the reunion as soon as Sun and Garcelle, as soon as the person that was carrying the show has left, the show should have ended. I'll just say it like that. Because, Kyle, you ain't carrying nothing this season. You, you continue to carry wasting our time, but you did not carry nothing this season when it comes to the show. Show us this women's snooze fest if Sun wasn't even on it. Um, and then Erica says she's okay. She feels better. Okay. And then Kathy says something about sisterhood and respecting it. And then they go to Dory. Andy yawns. I felt that way too. I don't even know what else. I don't even know what she said. <laughs> and then, um, Kyle says she wants to find her own happiness and basically be happily ever after. And then that concluded the reunion. But then they show afterwards that Sun made a full recovery and she was back home with Avi. So we did at least get an Avi appearance at the very end. I really, y'all could have just took Anna Marie out of there and just had Avi on stage, to be honest. I know he's not a housewife, but I just love Avi that much. And then they talked about how Kyle went to a concert in Nashville to see Morgan Wade. That was a reunion. Yeah. It needed to be two parts and two parts only. But anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka The Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.